Hey everybody, welcome back to the Bunny Kingdom. Let's keep bunnying, said Kingdom. Alrighty, so we're continuing on. Have I drawn a card yet? No, I have not. I should do that. Boom. <laughs> the Burgomaster. Alrighty, one point for each city I control. I'm already going to control one city. I think that's pretty cool. Although, uh, although, hold on. Here's the deal. I want this Burgomaster for myself. More points at the end of the game. C10. If I hand this back to Jen, she'll build over here and she's got a level 2 fiefdom. I don't want that. But remember, in a two-player game, you take one and you destroy one. I will destroy C10. I will take the Burgomaster for myself and I'll hand Jen back the rest. Alrighty. Meanwhile, she draws one. And it's I7. Alright, so she's got nothing but terrain. She is going to destroy a train. Although, hey, here's a city. I think Jen is going to take this city. She built this city on bunny rabbits, and she destroys one. All right. F5, A9, D4, G3. I'm looking around. G3 is good for me because it's fairly close. I could imagine trying to spread over there. So maybe she'll destroy G3 or I7. Yep, she's going to destroy G3. Bye-bye. Because it would be farther away for her to get to. So, that was that. Everybody reveals. And I reveal another secret, which means I don't reveal it. And Jen says, ah, she would like to build a level 2 city. Eventually. These cool little, look at them, so adorable. So Jen's got two camps and a city she's going to build eventually. I've got one level 3 city I'm going to build eventually. Alrighty, moving right along. Four cards left. I draw another. And it's a, oh, it's a camp. I destroyed the camp. I, 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 I remember I destroyed the camp thing. And this is still pretty handy, though. A camp could be handy. I'm going to keep this camp for myself. Unless one of these do I want. Hold on. F5. No. A9. A9. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I want that. And if I put a camp here, all three of these would be connected. Oh my gosh. What are the chances Jen would take A9? Unlikely. Jen might spite destroy it though, because she can see how close it is to something I already have. I better take this. And now that question, do I destroy this camp and not let her have it? She already has two camps. Chances are I'd get this camp back. Well, why? What would she, why would she, she, she has no reason. Oh, I want this camp. And again, if I were playing a 3 or 4 player game, I would take this camp. And these two things would combine very nicely to give me a nice level 3 fife. Thief. Oh, I hate the two-player game. It is so much nicer to play this at a higher player count. Which of these do I keep? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's a tough choice. The game gets harder. The scores are significantly lower. Um, overall, uh, save it for the final thoughts. Favorite final thoughts. All right, do I care about these other ones? Just to be sure. D4, no. I7, no. That's... Oh, I7, I want this too. I've got three cards that I want very much to expand my little fifes. Well, at least I'll get one of these back because Jen could take one, destroy one. I'll get one of them back. All right, I'm not going to destroy any of these. D4 or F5, which of these am I getting rid of? D4. D4 is kind of close to her. I'm destroying D4. I'm taking one of these and I'm hoping I'll get one of these three back. All right, I'm taking, I'm taking the camp. And I hand the rest of these of Jen. Jen, meanwhile, says, hi, what do we got? Show me what you got. A D1. All right, so does she want to make another level 2 city before the game is over? Or does she want to go to C6? That's kind of close. J3. Uh, uh, oh, a little city. And her, Did Jen get the Burgomaster? Or did I get the Burgomaster? Yeah, Jen, I got the Burgomaster. So Jen doesn't know. I want to, have, I want to be in cities at the end of the game. G6. And D1. Oh, D1. Jen's taking D1 for herself. And what is she destroying of these? <sighs> Jen will um, doesn't want me to be able to build more cities. I mean, this might come back to her, but she'll destroy that so that I can't do it. All right, so there we go. We reveal. I reveal a camp. Now, I've got a camp that I'm going to build eventually. If I can find that camp thing. There it is. And Jen reveals D1. All right. Oh, wait, D, yeah, D1. There we go. Jen's got a fief. Although, this fief, even though it's gotten bigger, it hasn't gotten any more wealthy. As if you look, what has she got? This fiefdom generates one wood and nothing. 
But Jen could, later on, install the mushroom building here, and then she's got a fief that generates two different things, and um, that means it has a wealth of two instead of a wealth of one. So that's a possibility for later on. Okay, so that was that. We're getting close, folks. Alrighty, oh, let's draw what we got. And, mmm, okay. This allows me to start generating dyes, I suppose. I assume that's what this is. Although, this can only be added to a carrot field. Which, ironically, nobody's gone to yet. How's that happen? I want carrot fields. And so I'll eventually want to put this on a carrot field to make it more valuable. G6, C6, and J3. C6, J3, and... Oh, J3! I like cities. I'm just going to... Wait, 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 hold on a second, hold on a second, what's this? Oh, wait. Oh, wait, no, this is the last card. Yeah, yeah, right. Okay, that's the last card I'm drawing from my reserve. Yeah, I want this city, because I do. Remember, I'm the Burgomaster. Am I? I think I'm the Burgomaster. Yes, I'm the Burgomaster. I want uh, extra cities. So I'll keep this for myself. And then I got to destroy one of these. C6 or G6, because I would like to get this back. C6 or G6. And what, what, what city did I just take for myself? J3. So neither C6 or G6 are close to that. Oh, okay, I'll just destroy a G6 then. All right, boom. That's it. Jen says, hi. A treasure hunter. Double the points from any treasures you have. That's if you get treasures. Treasures are another type of scroll card. And now, we are not going to go through this entire deck. All the scrolls might be buried at the bottom. So this is a gamble to take this. Now, if Jen already had a treasure or two, she'd totally take it. But it's A9, I7, F5. I know you keep seeing these same ones, so sorry. I, I, I'm just too much to keep all this in my head. It's too much. Um, Let's go on ahead, and Jen will take A9 for herself, because she doesn't want me to have it, because it's so close to my neck of the woods. And she will destroy that bunny hunter. She doesn't have any. She doesn't want me to have it. She'll destroy it. Okay, there we go. We reveal. And um, I am building in a city, J3. Now I've got a new, I've got one, two, three, four fiefs I would like to expand. And Jen is building in A9. She has one, two, three fiefs she would like to continue to expand. Okay. Getting close, folks. Alrighty. It's a treasure! And Jen, man. Uh, so this would make this go from being worth five points to being worth 10 points. But the treasure hunter is gone. So, do I keep 5 points for myself, or do I get F5 or I7? Again, going to destroy something. Hmm. Uh, remember, I want wood! Aren't, don't I? Don't I? Yes, I do. I need to be the Woodland King. I'm just going to take that. I'm going to destroy this treasure. Jen, meanwhile, says, Explorer. Three points for each territory you control at the corner. Nobody's gone to the corners yet. Jen is trying to remember, did she trash any corner cards? Oh. And she'd like to get into this corner right there. Although I mean it's to her, so would I, because I'd like to need I need fish. Um, wow. C6. Alright. She's gonna destroy that. She's gonna keep this for herself. And she's gonna give me that. We reveal. Jen's got a thing she'd like to build in a forest, and I am going into F5. F5. Standing by. There we go. And, all right. Well, I guess I'm taking C6. Somebody had to do it. And Jen says, I guess I'm taking I7. Boom. All right. And I I'm trying to remember, do all the cards get used, or is there always one left over? Um... I, I might have gotten the count wrong, but if so, folks, watch with the Klingon subtitles turned on. Okay, phew! We have finished the first of four rounds of card drafting. But we're not done. After we're done with the drafting and the playing, I should say, we keep doing those, then we go on to construction. Where um, we can, now we don't have to construct these, but we can. And remember, Jen has got five things waiting to be constructed. I've got two things waiting to be constructed. And for the most part, you can go in any order you want. However, if somebody wants to build a camp, then they have to declare it. Yes, they do. And um, these camps have to be resolved in order. I have camp number six. Jen has camp number four and camp number five. So strictly speaking, Jen could build both of her camps before I can build my camp. She, I've got, she's got four and five and I've got six. 
So if we both were, I mean, we both might want to build a camp in the same place because we're so close to each other, but Jim would get to build a camp there before I do. So what are we going to do? What are we going to do? I think Jen is going to build this mushroom over here, like I talked about earlier. And she's going to build this level two city right here in this forest. So she has just built both of those. Oops, I needed to put a marker on here. This die, she doesn't, she can't build this yet. So, I mean, because she, she's yet to find any, um, I mean, she, she should have grabbed them all she could. She ended up getting any uh, carrot zones. So, and she could place the camps. Does she want to place the camps? Hmm. Now, a camp can only be placed on a totally empty area. So, Jen can't use a camp to, like, expand into this city here, unfortunately. Um, so, and considering this is the only city that Jen is in, and if she tried to expand a camp, she'd be expanding into something that doesn't give her anything. I think Jen's not going to use her camps right now. She'll save them for later. There's another problem with camps, too. If Jen did use a camp, say, to, like, extend this, like this, so she's making a bigger fief, cause she, and she's hoping to get over here and make a nicer, bigger one, if anybody ever gets E2 and plays E2, then this camp gets destroyed, Jen gets kicked out. So that's the problem. Camps are great. They let you go any place, but they could get destroyed. Now, of course, in a two-player game, since you're burning cards all the time, if Jen first destroyed E2 and then put a camp there, she would know that camp would be safe forever. Whereas you can never be sure about that in a uh, three- or four-player game. So anyway, I will go on ahead and build my mighty city. Where will I build it? Where will I build it? I will build my mighty city. It has to be in one of my existing things. No, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, wait. It has to be in a mountain. I totally forgot about that. Yes. So, what the heck? It's the only mountain I've got is up here. But that's a problem. Because, here's the deal, folks. We're about to score. We score uh, each one of our fiefs ba points based on its strength times its wealth. Its strength is how many towers. I'm about to make a strength three city here. Its wealth is how many unique things it generates. And that's my problem. I could build this castle over here, but this fiefdom of one produces nothing. So that castle will do nothing for me. Now, that's not true. Okay, I am going to build my castle here. And I'm going to say, I'm building a, I'm building a number five camp. Or I'm sorry, number six camp. Does anybody want to go before me in case they want to you know, go there first? And Jen has two camps. So Jen could do her four or five before. Jen is saving hers for later. So I, And Jen says, nope, go ahead, do your camp, whatever. And I'm going to build my camp right here in Carrot Town. Boom. And now, this level three, this is a fief. And if I could get this, oh, this will be really nice. It'll be a nice, oops. But, and now Jen desperately wants to find C7 and use it to destroy my little camp. But anyway, so we are done building. I built both of my things. Jen um, built, has, still has stuff that she can build in the future. And now we go to scoring. And like I said, we check every fife, fief, 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 sorry, that is on the board, multiply its strength times its wealth. And there's not much. Here's a little fief. Uh, it's got one strength, but it sadly, oh, let's go ahead and zoom in on this sad little fief, generates nothing. So its strength, one times its wealth, zero means no points. Uh, this fief is nothing. It has um, no points. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Did I want to do this up here? Or did I want to do it down here? Because I could have put the castle on this one and expanded into that fish. No, 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 because I still like being able to connect all those. Anyway, though. So this fief gives me nothing. This fief, it has one wealth because it generates one unique type of good, but it has no strength. I need to have expanded down here. Then I'd have strength times wealth. This one, again, has wealth but no strength. Here's my big one. Here's my big score. It has a strength of three. It has a wealth of one, which means I just scored three points for that fief. And then this fief up here, it has wealth. It has no strength. Okay, let's check Jen out. Jen, um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay, over here, there's a strength of two times two, strength of two with the two uh, towers, times two resources, the mushrooms, and this is a uh, four. Jen just scored four points at the end of the first round. Okay, now, at the end of the second round, because we're now going to get a whole bunch more cards, 
and we are going to go, you know, 10 more cards and another reserve of 10. We are going to go through all of that drafting again, and after the end of that, we will score again. And hopefully this will score again if Jen hasn't chopped it in half. Jen knows this will score again, and hopefully she will expand it over here because then she's got two resources times um, one, two, uh, three, so it'll go up to being a six-pointer. And hey, maybe if she goes over into the mountains and finds diamonds in those mountains, it could get even better and better and better. But right now, it's a tiny little thing. Um, and uh, yeah, we're about to go to round two, where we have, there's going to be four, in a two-player game, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 10, 10, 10. So if we were playing a four-player game, everybody would have a deck of 10. But remember, I've got a reserve of 10. Jen has a reserve of 10. We have uh, new decks of cards, and we are ready to go again. And I look at what I've got, and suddenly a whole explosion of new things. Plus, don't forget my reserve. Another thing, the, uh, the merchant, the master of mountains, another camp, um, a matriarch, so many scrolls to chase after. But that's the thing. Do I chase after more scrolls? Or do I actually try to complete the stuff I've got? Because look, I got two carrots. And remember, I'm trying to be the master of Carrot Town. And, um, oh, and I've got this. This is a wild. It means a region can produce anything, which will help me towards my fish or my, um, what was it? Farm mastery, wood mastery, I don't remember now. Uh, again, I can always look. What is I'm trying to do? On the Fisher King and the Woodland King. I don't want carrots, I want wood. And I want more cities. Right. And Jen, meanwhile, she just got a whole big, gigantic new hand of cards. The Oh, look at this one. Oh, Honey King. Oh, uh, 12 points if you control 10 fiefs. You know, this might not be so great in a higher player count game, because in a higher player count game where you're always putting two down, it is much easier to expand and grab big areas, and you end up with um, fewer, bigger fiefs. In a two-player game, with all the cutthroatedness and all the cutting each other off, um, the Honey King becomes much more valuable. Because, hey, it's not too hard to get to, uh, 10 individual little fiefs all over the place, because it's hard to make big fiefs, because we keep cutting each other off. Or the... The Caridistador! Four points for each fief you control with at least three territories. That's suddenly a little bit tougher in a two-player game to make up for the Honey King, which is a little bit easier than it otherwise might be. And then, of course, Jen sees... Oh, there's some fish. Not that she cares about fish. She's got one. She might want to take this. Where is J6? J6. Um, because if she doesn't... Well, hey, look at that. These could start connecting. She could start trying to work for a fief over there, get to this town, and start generating points off that. Maybe come out fishing, etc., etc. And so, the second round begins of Bunny Kingdom. And that should give you a basic idea, folks. Uh, we do four rounds, scoring every time. And if you want to hear some final thoughts now, you can hit that I in the top right corner of the screen or follow the show notes in five, in four, in three, in two, in one. Bye-bye.